Welcome to the CyberWire's Career Notes podcast, brought to you by the University of San Diego's Masters in Cybersecurity Programs, providing cybersecurity engineering training for real-world applications. This is Elizabeth Wharton, and I am an attorney by training and currently chief of staff at Scythe, an internet startup company. I've always enjoyed solving problems. Nancy Drew being some of my favorite books uh, growing up. Early on, I thought I was going to be kind of the white knight, say, you know, district attorney fighting crime. And I realized very quickly after years of high school mock trial competitions that at the end of the day, I did not enjoy litigation. So while I knew I had found my home in the policy legal world, it took me a little while to come upon the technology side. So I spent a few years on the Hill, looked around the room and said, what's next? And saw that everyone who was at that level I thought I wanted to be, they all had a law degree. From there, I went to law school, passed the bar, and of course, answered the siren's call of big law firm, uh, big money, big projects, and worked in finance, business, and real estate for about the first six years. As I started doing that, more and more friends, being in the Atlanta area, were involved in different technology projects, research, and they start asking you questions and, you know, hey, if we're doing this, if we're researching this, is this legal? And from there, it just snowballed. And next thing I know, as the John Wick and the John Wick movies would say, uh, are you, you know, are you back, John? And eventually he's like, yeah, I guess I am. So it was... You know, are you are you a technology attorney? Well, yeah, I guess I am. From there, I've had the good fortune to take that years of advising businesses from the outside looking in and helping companies shape their strategy from the legal perspective, that I've been able to grow that and now can help companies shape their strategy from the inside looking out. So that's been a lot of fun. It really helps a building in if you have thought five moves ahead as you're doing something, that when surprises come up later, it's it's a lot of fun when I get to be able to say, oh, no, no, we built that, we baked that into the contract ahead of time. Or, yeah, I anticipated. I mean, one of the best examples is you look at, for example, if I'm working with security researchers and we've got a product that we want to use that says, oh, you can't reverse engineer this software. But if I know going in that that's exactly what we're gonna do, but not from a malicious standpoint, instead, we wanna make sure it meets our needs. So knowing how to then go back to the other company and say, hey, gonna be honest, engineering team's gonna reverse this, but we're doing it to protect ourselves. So basically think of it as we're gonna be doing free quality assurance testing and suddenly folks love you because they're like wait you're gonna pay us money to use our product and give us effective feedback on how to make it better yeah let's do that ask those questions find find what brings you joy what piques your interest what sparks your imagination look around, see who's doing even just a piece of that or a part of that and ask them, hey, what what about this drove you there? What should I do? What can I learn? And just absorb that information. 
Every step of the way, I have had someone willing to give their time, their expertise, and really just mentoring doesn't quite sum it all up. I mean, supporting, cheering me on. And I'd like to think that I can just help someone else because, you know, the adage that a rising tide lifts all ships, we didn't get to where we are without the help of others. And so I just like to add strong shoulders for someone else to stand on and help reach their heights. This CyberWire Career Notes podcast is made possible by the University of San Diego's Masters in Cybersecurity programs. Cybersecurity Newsflash. In addition to gumming up the works with malware, phishing expeditions, and more, the black hat hackers of the world are also creating jobs. Let me explain. Cybercrime is causing so many headaches and financial losses that companies everywhere are paying top dollar for talent. University of San Diego's online cybersecurity engineering master's degree program is preparing the next generation of cyber experts, and you could be one of them. Connect with the USD team at sandiego.edu slash cyberwire. Mention this podcast and they'll waive the fee to apply.